Hi, I'm Emily Epp, Manager of Communications at the Caribou Regional District. Hi, I'm Lloyd Peel, Public Information Officer at the Caribou Regional District. We're here to talk about the Caribou Chilcotin Emergency Notification System and uh, Lloyd's going to ask me some questions about it. Can you explain the system and the ways that people can sign up for it? Yeah, we want people to register so that they can get notifications about evacuation orders and alerts, both when they're put in place and when they're lifted. They can sign up at caribourd.ca. If they don't have access to the internet, they can uh, give us a call at 250-392-3351 and we can help them sign up. Uh, when they sign up, they register an uh, address of interest to them and then they can pick multiple ways that we would contact them, like email, landline, cell phone, text, and then they would get those emergency notifications. Great. Once people are signed up, what can they expect? So, the way it works is if they sign up an address of interest, uh, in this kind of situation when there's an evacuation order, we send out the notifications to all of their contact methods all at once because it's kind of an urgent situation. So if you signed up landline, cell phone, and email, you'll get a message on all of those at once. Then you'll have about 10 minutes to confirm that you've received the message. If you don't confirm, you'll get a second round of messages, and then so on, you'll get a third round of messages just to make sure that you got the message. When we send out an evacuation alert, because it's not quite as urgent, we go down through the list. So your first method of contact will send you a message, then uh, if you don't respond within 10 minutes, it'll go to your next contact method and so on and down the list. If you don't respond within 15 minutes to confirm you've received it, then it starts back up at the top again and it'll go down through your methods. So. In order to stop the notifications, you have to uh, confirm that you've received. So if you get a phone call, you have to press 1 at the end of the message. If you get a text, you have to respond yes. And if you get an email, you have to click the link. Once you confirm, all the notifications will stop. Can you explain to me why some people have gotten too many messages? Yeah, so we have gotten some feedback uh, about that and unfortunately, um, since we only use this system during an emergency, uh, it takes an emergency to test it out and we're fine tuning the settings as we go. So at the beginning, um, people were getting a lot of messages. We heard the feedback loud and clear, so we've changed the, se the settings so that there's now more time between the alerts that they would get so they can have time to respond before they get the second round of notifications. Uh, in getting feedback, some people have said they're getting no messages at all. Can you explain this? At the beginning of our emergency situation here in the Caribou, which was at the beginning of July, we unfortunately didn't have the staff in place to uh, be using the system effectively. So we w sent out one initial notification on July the 7th for the evacuation order of 108 mile and 105 mile. Uh, then there was a gap in time which we weren't able to use the system. Um, but since July 15th, which is since the evacuation order for City of Williams Lake and surrounding areas, we have been using it for every evacuation order and alert since then. Um, also for Caribou Regional District reps, uh, residents, on July the 17th we sent out a general message so if people registered before July the 17th they should have gotten that message which was a, just a general update. Um, people who have registered since then and maybe haven't gotten alert could be because one maybe their property hasn't been affected uh, so they only get messages if they're affected. Um, another thing to look into is your settings, um, seeing, making sure you have your contact info is up to date. And uh, thirdly, um, maybe your family member registered and your contact info is in the list. And if they get the first call and they confirm it, then it won't get down to you. So it's important that everybody registers so everyone can get an alert. Great. Is there anything you'd like to add in closing? Yeah, well, one great news uh, thing is that since this all happened, we've actually had uh, over 8,000 people sign up for the emergency notification system, which is a great success. Um, despite the glitches, we really do think this is a valuable tool to keep people informed in, in emergencies. So we've been getting lots of feedback. We really appreciate that. And uh, we, want, we want people to know that we are hearing their feedback and uh, we appreciate their patience as we uh, fine tune the settings. So just in closing, um, if you haven't registered yet for the Caribou Chilcotin Emergency Notification, we really encourage you to do that on our website or give us a call. Um, thank you so much for all of you who have registered and uh, stay tuned for another video update.